Welcome to this video series about one of my favorite directors. Maybe you've heard of him. A Steven Spielberg film. In a sense, Steven Spielberg is to popular film directing as Shakespeare is to playwriting. For kids growing up in the 80s and 90s, Spielberg is one of the first directors that you really become aware of. So, why is he so popular? Uh, my friend here thinks it's fine the way it is. He essentially invented the blockbuster and has helped change the face of Hollywood cinema today. Spielberg's very much an auteur director in style, though he has done many different genres. So in this series, I'm going to go through all of his films. Each film a new video, starting with Duel. There'll be some films I've never seen before, as well as some that I've seen maybe 50 times. I'll give my thoughts as well as discuss Spielberg's themes and styles. But before we begin with his feature films, here's some backstory. Spielberg was part of a new wave of Hollywood filmmakers. Along with George Lucas and Francis Ford Coppola, they would go on to be known as the film Bratz. Rather than growing up in Hollywood and working their way up the studio production ladder, these film brats grew up watching and loving movies, then went to film school, then became very successful at a very young age. When Spielberg was 13, he made his first war movie, Escape from Nowhere. When he was 16, he made his first feature film, a science fiction movie called Firelight. After getting rejected from film school for only having a C average, he took an internship at Universal Studios in the editing department. He then directed a short film called Amblin. Amblin is a 25-minute film shot on 35mm about two hitchhikers and their short-lived romance slash adventures hitchhiking through the desert. It's a silent film with only an acoustic guitar soundtrack. And what a brilliant idea of having it be silent it was. Amblin serves as kind of a one-film demo reel for everything Spielberg could do. It has mystery, romance, some comedy. There's even a MacGuffin in the movie via the guitar case that the lead character is always carrying. And Spielberg gets to play around with lighting, abstract editing, long takes. In short, it's a very well-made short film and no doubt impressed executives at Universal Studios. It's kind of baffling that this hasn't gotten a proper DVD release, or at least stuck on another one of his films. Amblin led to Steven Spielberg getting more jobs directing television until he got the chance to make his first feature for TV about a man and a killer truck. <laughs> 